Have you ever wondered how our home, Earth, came into existence? A question as old as time itself, the birth of our planet is a story of cosmic proportions, a narrative wrapped in the very fabric of the universe. Around four and a half billion years ago, in a corner of the Milky Way galaxy, a vast cloud of dust and gas began to collapse under its own gravitational pull. This was no ordinary cloud, but the remains of a colossal ancient star that had exploded in a supernova, seeding the universe with the elements necessary for life. As this cloud collapsed, it spun faster and faster, flattening into a spinning disk with a hot, dense center. From this protostar, our sun was born, its intense heat and light pushing the lighter elements out to the edges of the disk. What remained closer to the sun were mostly heavy elements like iron and nickel, the building blocks of rocky planets like Earth. In the chaos of the early solar system, dust particles began to stick together, forming clumps that grew into planetesimals, and eventually into planets. But the birth of the Earth was anything but peaceful. Bombardment by other celestial bodies was a common occurrence, one such collision with a Mars-sized object leading to the formation of our Moon. This violent early period, known as the Hadean Aeon, saw the Earth in a molten state, its surface continually reshaped by volcanic activity and the relentless impacts of asteroids and comets. Yet, despite these harsh conditions, the Earth began to cool, its outer layer solidifying to form a thin crust. The story of our planet's birth is one of transformation and resilience, a testament to the incredible forces at work in the universe. From a swirling cloud of cosmic dust and debris, our planet was born. This was just the beginning of Earth's journey, a journey that would see life emerge and flourish, dinosaurs rise and fall, and humans eventually take their place in the grand cosmic theater. Life as we know it didn't just appear overnight. So how did it begin? Let's journey back in time around three and a half billion years ago. The stage is set, but the actors, the life forms that will inhabit this world are yet to make their grand entry. The Earth was a vastly different place then, with a harsh and chaotic environment. Gases like methane, ammonia, water vapour and carbon dioxide were abundant in the atmosphere, but the spark of life was about to ignite. In this volatile mix, the first single-celled organisms, known as prokaryotes, emerged. Imagine these creatures, so tiny that millions could fit on the head of a pin, yet so significant that they would become the architects of life on Earth. They were simple. Without a nucleus or other structures we associate with modern cells, yet they carried within them the genetic code, the blueprint for all life that would follow. Then a remarkable transformation occurred. Some of these single-celled organisms developed the ability to harness the sun's energy, a process we now know as photosynthesis. This was a game changer. It enabled these organisms to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose, a source of energy releasing oxygen as a byproduct. But this oxygen was a new player on the stage of Earth, and it didn't play well with others. It was toxic to most life forms of that time. However, over hundreds of millions of years, oxygen gradually filled the atmosphere, leading to what's known as the Great Oxidation Event. This event was a turning point, paving the way for more complex life forms to evolve, and so life in all its microscopic diversity began to flourish. From these humble beginnings, from these tiny single-celled organisms, the seeds of life took root. They thrived, multiplied and diversified, setting the stage for the grand tale of life on Earth. The first breath of life on Earth was a microscopic one. But as we'll see, these tiny pioneers were just the start of an epic journey. A journey that would lead to an incredible diversity of life, including us. Dinosaurs, the giants of the prehistoric world, when did they walk the Earth? Let's take a step back in time, around 250 million years ago, to the Mesozoic era. This was the age of the dinosaurs, an era brimming with incredible creatures that dominated the Earth's landscapes. The Mesozoic era was an exciting time in Earth's history, marked by significant geological and climatic changes. Amidst this turmoil, dinosaurs thrived, evolving into a diverse array of species. From the humongous long-necked sauropods to the swift and cunning velociraptors, dinosaurs reigned supreme. They roamed the Earth for over 160 million years, longer than any other group of animals. 
Their size, power and adaptability allowed them to thrive in a variety of habitats. Their reign, however, was not everlasting, and like all great empires, it eventually came to an end. Thus, the age of dinosaurs marked an epoch of Earth's history. Life on Earth has not always been a smooth journey. What were the great extinctions? Let's turn the pages of Earth's history back to about 440 million years ago, to the first of the Big Five, the Ordovician Silurian extinction. This event witnessed the vanishing of nearly 85% of sea life, likely due to a swift ice age followed by a rapid warming period. Fast forwarding to 375 million years ago, we encountered the late Devonian extinction. This was a more drawn out event, taking place over 20 million years, where three quarters of all species disappeared, possibly due to a lack of oxygen in the oceans. Next stop, 250 million years ago, to the most devastating of them all, the Permian-Triassic extinction, also known as the Great Dying. This event extinguished about 96% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial life. The cause, likely a combination of volcanic activity and methane release, Jumping to 200 million years ago, at the end of the Triassic period, we find another mass extinction, wiping out half of all species. The cause is still a mystery, but volcanic activity could be a culprit. And who can forget the infamous Cretaceous Paleogene extinction 66 million years ago? This is the one that saw the end of the dinosaurs, likely due to a catastrophic asteroid impact. While these extinctions seem like ancient history, we must remember that we are potentially in the middle of the sixth mass extinction right now. This one, however, is not caused by ice ages, volcanic activity or asteroid impacts, but by us, human activities. The rate at which species are disappearing is alarmingly high, comparable to the five major extinctions in the past. Mass extinctions have repeatedly reshaped the course of life on our planet, and as we look to the future, it's worth remembering that our actions today will determine the course of life on Earth tomorrow. When did the reign of humans begin? An intriguing query indeed. Let's delve into it. As the curtain fell on the dinosaurs' era, a new wave of life began to flourish. These were the mammals, a versatile and adaptive group that would eventually give rise to a species like no other. Homo sapiens, or as we call ourselves, humans. The evolution of humans is a story of survival and adaptation. Our ancestors, small and seemingly insignificant, began to walk upright, freeing their hands for tool use. These tools, crude at first, became increasingly complex over time, mirroring the evolution of the human brain. As our brains grew larger, so did our capacity for thought, communication and problem solving. The development of language was a game-changer, enabling the transfer of knowledge across generations. This led to the establishment of cultures, societies and civilizations. From hunter-gatherers, we became farmers, developing agriculture and domesticating animals. This shift allowed for population growth and the establishment of permanent settlements. But with great power comes great responsibility. As humans advanced, we began to significantly impact the Earth's climate and ecosystems. Our activities, particularly in the last couple of centuries, have led to widespread deforestation, pollution and loss of biodiversity. The Earth's climate has changed at an unprecedented rate, leading scientists to declare a new geological epoch, the Anthropocene. The Anthropocene, the age of humans, represents our undeniable influence on the planet but it is also a reminder of our responsibility. We are the first species with the power to alter the Earth on a global scale. But with this power, we also have the potential to drive our own extinction. Is it too late to change our course? That's a question for another day. But one thing is clear, our actions today will shape the Earth's future, for better or for worse. And so here we are, in the Anthropocene, the age of humans. The rest of the story is yet to be written. It's up to us to decide how it unfolds. We've journeyed through billions of years of Earth's history, but what does it all mean? As we've seen, our planet's story is a rich tapestry woven from countless threads of cosmic and biological events. From the fiery birth of Earth to the first stirrings of life in its primordial soup, the narrative is awe-inspiring and humbling. We've witnessed the rise and fall of the dinosaurs, creatures so magnificent and formidable, their reign feels almost mythic. 
We've surveyed the mass extinctions, cataclysms that reshaped the world, paving the way for new life to flourish. And then there's us, humans. We arrived late to the party, yet we've made quite an impact. We've harnessed technology and reshaped the environment, but with power comes responsibility. As we reflect on our place in Earth's history, let's also consider our role in its future. As we stand on this tiny speck in the vast cosmos, we realize that our Earth's history is not just about the past, but also about the future we need to shape.